Hey Roys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Roy Beauty. So even though I sound like I have a lot of energy right now, I actually don't. I'm really tired. So I apologize in advance for my low energy in this voiceover coming up, but I'm really excited to share this wig with you guys. I love it. It is actually one of my new favorites and it was gifted to me while I was on set and I got to review it for you guys and share it. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, so the wig we have here today is Rainbow, and she is from R&B Wigs. This is their R&B wig collection, and this wig was gifted to me on the Hey Neighbor set where I'm a co-host, and this is a full lace wig. It's human hair, and it's 100% human hair. It's hand-tied all the way through, and it has two combs right at the top there. It also has a comb at the nape and an adjustable strap. The lace is super soft and Swiss very comfortable very flexible like i said it is fully lace and hand tied um, i love this wig because i was able to wear it and not only wear it but for it to look as natural as possible because of how the lace looks it matches my skin i loved it um, i'm gonna put it on my head and i'm gonna do something a little different this time and show you guys how i laid this wig I don't usually show you guys that part. Um, I don't think I'm as detailed, I guess, with laying it down because I never use adhesive. I use adhesive very sparingly, very randomly. But today I'm gonna show you guys how to lay a full lace wig down. I'm not gonna use the back, even though there is lace in the back, I'm not gonna lay the back. I'm simply gonna do the front because that's how I wore it. Now first I'm just adjusting, making sure that the cap is where I want it to lay. Then I'm gonna move it out of the way and I'm gonna put some adhesive um, where I'm going to lay the wig down okay you guys I've been having so many issues with this voiceover I'm gonna try it one more time and if this doesn't work then I'm just gonna let this video play and have you guys watch me slay this wig but um, right now I'm just laying down the wig making sure that it's placed where I want it to lay I'm gonna be using this water resistant adhesive clean I can't remember where the, com the company is that I got it from but I will list it down in the description after this video I'm using a flat type of uh, spatula just to spread the product out I did two layers of this and I waited for it I waited for it to get tacky excuse me and then I laid the wig on top of the late the lace glue now the way I like to do my baby hairs is very very simple I don't like to go extra I want it to look really realistic I want it to look like it's coming out of my head even though my hair texture is not silky like this my hair texture is definitely coarse my baby hairs are more coarse unless they're wet but I really want this to look like it's coming out of my head so a lot of times I don't do the swoopy swoop baby hair cute thing 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 that most girls do to each his own it's very random when I do that but I really do want to make sure that you know especially with human hair wigs it's very easy to try to make the wig the hairline look as realistic as possible so why not so what I'm doing here is just using my fingers I'm not using a brush or anything right then I kind of just focus on laying the wig laying the lace laying the hairs using the glue the adhesive to kind of lay down the baby hairs to make them look really natural and close to my hairline first and then if I do need to go in and use a brush to kind of swoop and style the, the baby hairs later on I might do that depending on the look I'm going for so as you can see, I am messing with the hair around my ear. I'm really more so messing around with that lace because it's right over my ear. So I will go in and show you guys how to make that more comfortable. You definitely wanna pay attention to that so that the wig lays as, as good as possible. I'm also going in and cutting um, my sideburns. I do naturally have sideburns, even though they're not as thick as they used to be. Um, so I like to have the little sideburn action going. That also helps with the wig laying as as much as possible. So just a little tip. But as you can see, after doing it the way that I'm doing it with my fingers, how natural that looks, the lace just melted right in. Like this wig is so bomb. I was so excited because it really did match my skin complexion. And I didn't use this the balding cap method or anything. Like it just melted right into my skin. I loved it. All right, so back to my ear. What I was saying was that I used um, a scissors to kind of co cut around my ear shape, like right around just a little triangle kind of shape or whatever, or a crescent if you will, just to kind of make sure that the wig lays behind my ear. So you will have to go in 
cut a little bit and this hurts because you don't want to cut the wig or just destroy it or anything but it's really important because you really want it to lay now this is a little bit of a close-up since the first go was uh, very sped up and very fast and I didn't get to really show you guys but I'm putting just a little bit of the product and then I use the tool you can use um, a spatula you can use a comb the rat tail comb or anything but you kind of just want to spread this down you don't want to like do a whole bunch of dots unless you're just running out of product at the end like I just did and you need to add a little bit more for the most part you just want to add a little bit a little bit goes a long way let it get tacky by fanning it you want to use cool 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 air not heat um, just to get it tacky and I did two layers of that got it tacky and then I went ahead and pulled the wig over where I want it to lay. And you want to pull it over the glue. And then go ahead and use my fingers to lay that down. Um, if I use got to be and other things like that all the time. But, and, the, and it's the same process actually. If I'm using like the got to be gel or anything or even the got to be spray, this is the same concept that, you know, I have going on. The same technique, I mean. And I use my fingers because it just helps lay the lace, but it's also like pulling out the baby hairs a lot more naturally. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna let that lay. I'm just doing a really like messy part. It's really not a perfect part at all. Um, I wasn't going for a perfect part. I just wanted something somewhat out of my face, you know, something, something simple. And I'm using concealer, which in most cases would be a no-no, but because I chose not to pluck the hairline, um, for this particular video, for this particular look. Um, I just went ahead and I added some concealer because that's the only way to really get that to show up. But don't get it fooled. If I really want to, I will pluck this hair, pluck that hairline so that you see it a lot better. But this is just a cheating way to kind of hurry up and get stuff done. I like showing you guys really fast ways that I just do things sometimes because I'm a mom, I'm always on the go. I don't have time to spend that much time to pluck stuff out and if I do I will always show it to you if I'm gonna do that but if I'm not and I'm really just doing a really quick slay I'm showing you guys exactly how I achieve that just to kind of get going and get out so this was one of those videos but if you do want me to get more detailed with how I pluck and all that extra stuff I can make sure you comment down below and ask me for those things I love the wig as far as the texture it's really silky it's so comfortable I can run my fingers through it the wig is light it's big head friendly I just wish there was more hair on the wig like it feels really really thin and they said it's 16 inches but it feels more like 14 so I'm not too sure but I love it regardless it's definitely a nice flowy wig I would love to curl it and show it to you guys in another video if you like this though I will link it down in the description for you guys I love you so much thanks for tuning in for another wig review and if you have any questions that I didn't answer please comment I hope to see you guys in the next wig review or video or anything else I got going here on my channel. As always, stay royal.